This is the max attack related stat melee team with Melaskula's Holy Relic giving 30% attack related stats once someone procs her passive, which in my findings is almost impossible, but we'll give it a shot. This guy using double shield, is he making like a YouTube video or something? So the big issue with this team I find, uh, I faced it many times, is just the fact that you can easily kill Gaffer. Like, the idea here is Maskell, I actually gave her UR crit resistance gear, because in my other video she was getting crit a lot, so I was like, okay, I'll give her crit resistance, and uh, she might be doing a little bit better. I gave her that, right? Uh, but problem is, <laughs> still getting crit by every hit, cool. Then people start focusing on Gaffer, right? And if people focus on Gaffer, then it pops the revive out. Anyways, uh, but you know, we'll deal with what we have to deal with. So let's um, let's waste our single target for space. No, we will not. We'll just move cards twice, then debuff with Gaffer. Debuff with Gaffer so that he can't shield next turn. If he can't shield or stun. If he can't shield or stun next turn, he will have a tough time. Now he will have to kill Melaskula and Mali. If he only goes for Mali, then obviously he's gonna pop the revive. And that's even worse for him, because then I'll get the 30% the for Melaskula. Here we're getting 10% from Bon. Um, with Mali's passive 50. And then 30 from Melaskula and 25 from Gaffer's ultimate if we manage to get Gaffer's ultimate. And here's what happens, he kills me anyways. This is why I, <laughs> I win against his team all the time, people ask me to use it. Maybe I should actually go for a CC food. I went old food because I want to get Gaffer's ultimate. You know the intricacies be <laughs> going for? A Gaffer ultimate and making your enemy want to focus melee instead of Gaffer? It's really tough. It's really tough. Um, you know what, we are gonna go for this. We are gonna go for this. We're gonna go for Gaffer's ultimate in the first turn to get the 25. So, the previous video I made on my last killer, uh, I actually already had a pretty good amount of attack related stats on my melee, because it's 50 from his, you know, passive, and then it was 30 from my last killer, 12 from Zeldris, and 12 from Kusok. So, we're just missing, on, on that video, we were just missing 11%. Because um, you get 25 from Gaffer and you get 10 from Bon. So this is more, it's not much more, honestly. With the difficulty that comes with getting Gaffer's ultimate and having someone kill your melee, I recommend not doing all of this. <laughs> it's just a little too much. But, you know, let's see what, what this is all about. We got the Gaffer, I mean, we got the Gaffer ultimate, which now is way more reasonable. Getting, I'm telling you, getting Melasculus passive to proc is just not reasonable in the slightest. But this is the good thing about Gaffer. We get the 25 plus the uh, the 10 from Bon. And we hit like about every crit on the single target. Which is pretty good. Again, I'm, I'm hopeful in this video we'll be able to actually proc Melasculus passive. But I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm being very honest, right? I could be here and, 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 and hype up the video so it gets a longer watch time and be like, Whoa, Melasculus Relic is insane! It's so OP, guys! But I don't want to lie to you because Melasculus Relic costs the, the materials from the hardest boss in the game. And if you manage to save, right? materials to make Melasculus Relic, I don't want you to make the mistake of doing it. I'm doing it for entertainment, not because it's good. I know what works and I know what doesn't. When, like, something needs a lot of steps to make it work, don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, you need someone to first focus on your melee, so he dies. Don't focus on Melaskula, which has way worse defenses. I, I even, again, I, I made her crew resistance gear. She has uh, like 100% crew resistance, right? So she, she doesn't take as much damage. She still got crew every hit because I got unlucky. That, that was just luck. Un that was unfortunate, right? Um, even though, like, even, even then, right? Like, she's still not gonna have high other D. Bro, okay, well. <laughs> why, why did I even bother? Um. I'm telling you all this so that you don't make the mistake 
thinking it's gonna like be actually consistent because when somebody takes so many steps, like I need to get Gaffer's ultimate, I need to get Malaskal's pa passive to proc, I need to get Melee's passive to also proc at that same time, I need to not be facing Asterosa because if I face Asterosa, I, I lose Malaskal's passive the moment I attack, so I don't get the Relic to proc. Like, I need to... So many things, okay? Need to be placed so good, so right, that, you know, it's that's not good. <laughs> that's not, that's, I can't call that good. But I think Galfrey here will actually be a good... Ooh, the crits we tanked actually mattered. Okay. A good booster. Much more than Malaskal, honestly, because now we got this. And then we can do this. And ult with Malaskal as well. Mm. I had to... Malaskal's ultimate was not going to kill anybody else. Uh, maybe I should have AoE'd instead. I don't know. I always feel finicky about AoEing because of Nanashi's passive. But maybe I could have actually killed Liz. Who knows? So I. Uh, I won't get Gaffer's passive anymore if he dies. Stun. Okay. No other attacks. Right. Makes sense. So we're gonna go for uh, the ult of Mali. And... Uh, we'll just waste cards for her. We'll just waste cards. He hasn't proc'd yet the revive. But he can easily proc it either by, by killing Gaffer, right? Kill Gaffer then kill Mali. But that is a long process. He's gonna have to kill two units. And he's using like a more defensive team. So... There's that. Unless he stuns... Melly, yep. Now he can't stun Gaffer though, but he is shielded, so doesn't matter. Um, we will ult with Gaffer to delete Goddess Liz Ultimate, right? We will purple card, and we will like heal with Malaska right now. Uh, she sure has max health, but we'll get more new cards. That will delete Liz ult. That will seal shields. And level 2 cards. Man, Galvar is doing all the heavy lifting, man! <laughs> I'll tell this is what I actually made a list, right? I made a, um, a... I ranked every festival unit. Because... On, on Twitter. Because I did use every festival unit recently in the video. And I put Galvar really high up on the list. And this is exactly why. Galvar... Against the Goddess team is a good unit. Like, he can do so much for you. So much. No way! No, bro! I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, look at all I have to do to get like this mass, like the, this perfect scenario. And I still didn't get it. Like, he didn't even die. Uh. This is the list, by the way. Let me know if you want me to make a video explaining it. This is what this was like right after I made that video using every single festival. And um, I don't think I'll change any position here. I know Ascari looks low, but I, I can explain if you want. But only if people really want, because I, I, I'm not looking forward to making that video. Lots and lots of goddesses. That's good, because uh, if I face a Estorosa, my thing just doesn't work. It's a real player, too. Okay. We will be doing this, actually. Sounds stupid, but trust. No dodge food. Okay. Is a real player, but no dodge food. It's very interesting. Okay. I want to get Galfrey's ultimate next turn. I didn't want him to blue card already in the first turn and give himself damage reduction and extra stats. If I can possibly... Uh, uh, if I can get Galfrey's ultimate, no, I can't get Galfrey's ultimate and attack with Melee because of how my cards were dropped. But I'll still attack with Galfrey. 
I'll still do that. Bro, Gaffer's out doing all the heavy lifting, man. Last <laughs> kill's relic sucks, man. Uh, it's just... You don't want a, something that takes so much effort. Because if it takes effort, then you know it's not gonna be consistent. If it's not consistent, it's not worth using. This is why the demon team is so good. Everything in there requires nothing out of you. Everything is passive. The only thing, I guess, would be like attacking the enemy to apply darkness, right? And that's the... That's tough, man. That, that, this is tough for Melascula, because she's going to be the first to die. But sure. Um, I'm going to get Guffer's ultimate next turn. So I'm going to do this instead. Next turn. Okay. Having core resistance for Melascula is now useless because uh, he doesn't crit. But if I can get like a... It's, it's just gonna be impossible for me to get Melee to die and not Melascula. Even though Melascula has HP defense and Melee has attack crit. And Melascula has Tarmel Link. It's just so hard. Oh, thank you. The AI is focusing her. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. It's just what I was talking about. God damn it. Uh, let's go to the Nashi. It's gonna be a big hit. Thank you, Galfer, for carrying the video. It's much appreciated. It's much appreciated that a good unit is here, because if not, oh damn. <laughs> Would I be in trouble? Would I be in trouble if Gaffer wasn't here? Oh boy. Okay. Now nah, go kill Melascula. We all, we all know it's gonna happen. Go kill Melascula. Uh, we can still probably survive. He has no, no like, um, stacks. Oh, he's not even attacking. Okay. Yep, yep. Critting every hit, I mean, that was a turbo crit chance card. Yeah. If she crit that one, I'd be very pissed. <laughs> After making you war gear for her. Uh, I can attack, he doesn't have the Nash anymore, so I can just do this. And then, uh, yeah. I can just do this. Wow, he still hits, bro. Ga Why am I even using my last kill, man? Gaffer is like... I guess that's the real point of the video, right? Or the, the team. You uh, bait that you're using Melascula's Holy Relic, but in reality, you're using Galfer's Holy Relic, which is actually good. <laughs> I forgot to make the math on video with the last Melascula video. Um, but ma the last one was like 50 from Melly, 30 from Melascula, so 80, plus 24, so 104. Um, with this, it's Melly plus Melascula, 80, Galfer, that's 105. Plus 10, 115, a little bit more. I think if you want to be more consistent, uh, you just take off Melascula. <laughs> I put like Margaret, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, man, good Tarmiel link. Good Tarmiel link, nice. Um, guess I'll do this. To debuff Zeldris, so I can do max damage. No, no Galfer Relic. No Melascula Relic. Just melee. Because... It's all I can do, really. I'll full heal him, so he doesn't die next turn. Because Melascula's gonna die first, of course. Yep. But I'll have Galfer Relic for the ultimate, though. I think. If I got Gaffer Guard. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay. Nice. We can de debuff everybody for extra damage. Wow. Isn't Gaffer's Relic so good? <laughs> uh, I remember when Gaffer's Relic first came out and he was such a mediocre character. Like, such a mediocre unit. And his Relic was such a blessing. So good. So easy to- It's kind of easy to activate. Just getting through the ultimate. You don't have to use the ultimate. If you have, if you have to use the ultimate, completely different story. Garbage. Garbage. But getting through the ultimate is not a problem. 
You can have ways to do that. This is why transformation units, right? Everyone's been begging and crying and, and pissing and shitting. Like, please, 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 make the unit itself having to all just get to the ultimate level and then she tra they transform. Just, I don't even know, like, make it so they don't even have an ultimate. Just the transformation as soon as they get the ultimate level and they lose the ultimate gauge. I don't know. Just, you, haven't you used the ultimate? Is not good. For something like this. Well, I give up. Melisca's relic sucks. Gaffer's relic's good. End of story.